Do you feel stuck in outdated fashion, but the world of modern fashion seems too overwhelming to understand? Welcome to my channel. My name is Prisca Jordan, and in today's video, I want to show you seven outfits that combine my current wardrobe with today's fashion trends to create style that enhances personality. After you watch this video, you should feel confident to play with the current fashion trends that work with your personal style. Today I want to show you seven outfits and seven styling tips that will help you update your clothes. Let's get started with the first tip. The trend I'm loving the most this year is the balance in fitted and loose clothing pieces to create a more updated outfit. When we were growing up, ultra tight was in, everything was tight from blazers to skinny jeans to those very dainty shoes. And those outfits look terribly outdated now. But more importantly, I don't find the ultra tight trend to be very flattering on most women. I think a lot of times an air of mystery can be more intriguing than a very obvious look. But over the last few years, the ultra loose look was in style. I blame the pandy. Looking like you borrowed your dad's suit was the vibe and I also don't think that's very flattering on most women. But this year the pairing of the very fitted and the very loose is trending and it's one that we can all benefit from. So take your loose styles from the last few years and pair it with your tighter styles from the years before then and voila, you have an updated look and it didn't even require shopping. This year, another modern update you can make is by blending your casual pieces with your dressy pieces to make an updated look. This is going to allow you to get more wear out of each piece and create more outfits, so it's a win-win. This trend is another repercussion of 2020 when people began working from home, taking Zoom meetings with their fanciest button-up paired with their most comfortable pajama pants. By 2021, the sweatsuit was all but formal wear. This year we are seeing more dressy outfits than we have in years past, but still incorporating the more casual pieces that we have bought more recently. For example, trousers, that can be a weekend outfit. Sequins, that can be part of your daytime outfit. Sneakers, that can be part of your workwear outfit. My tip for you is to try harmonizing your casual pieces with your dressy pieces to create outfits that work for multiple venues that you visit each week. Tell me if this sounds familiar. You look at your closet and determine that everything is old and outdated, so you go shopping for a new, modern, trending outfit. You wear the new outfit over and over, and the old outfits collect dust. Eventually, you cave and get rid of all of your outdated clothing. Does that sound familiar? Well, I have a solution for your closet, your style, and your bank account. Pair your older clothes with newer pieces to create cohesive outfits that are updated. But this is going to take some work before you go shopping. What I do is keep a post-it note in my closet and every time I bake an outfit and realize there's a gap, there's something missing that would complete it, I jot down a description of that piece on the post-it note. That way I'm not ignoring my old clothes that I actually really like, but I know specifically what I need to shop for and how to pair new pieces with several outfits in my wardrobe. I try to slowly modernize my wardrobe and utilize everything that I own while still creating outfits that feel like me. Most of my clothes are multiple years old, so when I show you outfit examples, it's pieces that I actually own with a realistic budget and a wardrobe that is very manageable. I try to link exact pieces, but I know a lot of times they're sold out because it's several years old, so I'll link something similar in the description box below in case you're interested in shopping that piece for your style. But I am curious, do you like seeing the realistic examples of outfits or would you prefer that I show you more pictures of pieces you can shop that are available in store now? Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see more and I can incorporate that in future videos. But for now, here are some outfit examples pairing modern pieces with classic pieces. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
The goal of adding a pop of color to your outfit is to direct the attention of the viewer. Just like in an email, your eye goes to the subject line before it goes to the body of the text. In the same way, we want to make a statement with one bright pop of color in your outfit. There's a lot of ways to direct attention in an outfit, but this year the bright pop of color trend is very easy to incorporate, so I think it's one that you might want to experiment with. The trending pops of color that are going to be available in pieces in store include cobalt blue, lime green, fuchsia, and lavender. But like I said in my previous trends video, which if you haven't watched, you should watch after this. But like I said in that video, the trending colors might not work for your style, your skin tone, your wardrobe you already own. So think about what pop of color would help my wardrobe. And maybe it's already in there. Like for me, I always wear pops of color, so this is a trend that's super easy to incorporate. I remember back in my early 20s when I was trying to figure out my style and I got sucked in hard to the white v-neck t-shirt trend. I don't know if you remember that one. I didn't necessarily love how it looked on me. I just like how it identified me with like the cool and casual tribe of celebrities, actors, musicians, and reality TV stars were wearing the white v-neck t-shirt. And I have a great story about this. I went to meet my favorite band, I think I was 19 or 20 years old, and I show up dressed exactly like one of the members who was a guy. So it wasn't the most feminine or personally flattering trend for me, but I do remember that I was wearing a men's Hanes t-shirt in like a size small to try to make it more cute on me. <laughs> Nowadays, I don't wear t-shirts that much anymore, but I do wear basics like tank tops and jeans and trousers. This year, we are being offered more elevated basics. They're elevated in cut, color, texture, honestly price but hopefully also longevity and you need to have a discerning eye to know if you're paying a premium price for a premium quality or if it's just a premium price because it's trending but elevated basics do allow our outfits to look cool casual and timeless but also elevated Year, the trending looks are all quite personal. There isn't a street style influencer that doesn't have a personal vibe and I love that. Figuring out your aesthetic can be very empowering. It translates in how you show up to meetings, to date night, and everything in between. Personalizing your clothing will help you take store-bought pieces and make them really your own. One way you can do this is by altering the hemline of your jeans or pants to make sure it's the most flattering length for you. Of course, you can take it to a tailor, but the trending look this year is the undone hemline, which means that you took a pair of scissors and attacked your jeans right before you walked out the door. Now, I love this because I work from home and I like that cool casual element of it, but consider for you, does the undone hemline flatter your personal style? And if not, then maybe take your pants to a tailor to ensure that is the right length for you. Another way that I've customized some of my clothing is to add a scarf to different pieces like a handbag. Sometimes I'll wear it as a headband or even add a scarf to a hat band. A lot of my scarves have meaning. I've picked them up along my travels or one of them is from my mom. And when I attach it to somewhere on my outfit, it tends to draw attention, which can create conversation and allow me to share a piece of my story with whomever is talking about this scarf. Another customization you can do is by taking an older piece that you really like because it does have meaning attached to it, but maybe you don't like the way it looks on you. So I'm thinking like an old concert tee from one of your favorite bands that you relive that night in your memories all the time, theoretically. Okay, this isn't theoretical, but I did this with my old concert tee. I made the neckline more flattering and I also sewed up the sides of the sleeves to make it look more fitted on me. So if you have a piece of clothing that you kind of like, but something's just a little off about it, maybe consider how you can customize or personalize it to show more of your personality. The final tip for how to wear this year's trends for better personal style has to do with makeup. 
Did you know that makeup has the power to synchronize your outfit or distract from it? It's the difference between musical harmony and clashing sounds. Luckily for us, this year's makeup trends are not too difficult or outlandish. If you'll remember in years past, the trending makeup was winged eyeliner, which I had way more fails than I did wins, and then the contouring your whole face look. That's so complex. This year it's much simpler and muted color palettes are more trending. There are two options that I want to present to you, the easiest way to do it and the more impactful way to do it. I'll be honest, there are days that I choose the easy route and then there are days that I choose the more impactful and aligning route. I'll explain the easy way to do this first. Now, if you don't like varying your makeup too much, then the easiest thing to do is to look at your entire outfit and choose makeup colors that simply won't distract or clash with it. That's it, that's the easy route. But if you want the more impactful route, then to align your makeup to your outfit, you wanna look at your entire outfit before you do your makeup and ask yourself these three questions. Number one, which part of my face do I want to emphasize with this look? For me, a lot of times that can be lipstick or lip gloss, but if you wanna emphasize your cheeks, then obviously blush. If you want to emphasize the contour of your face or the shadow under your cheeks, that would be bronzer or maybe even eyeshadow. Question two, how much makeup do I want to wear? So with a more casual outfit, I definitely like to look a little bit more muted in my makeup, but with a dressier outfit, I know that I can add a little bit more pizzazz and it goes with the vibe. And question number three, which would look better with this outfit, similar colors or complementary? For similar colors, you wanna choose a color that's found in the outfit and maybe even one that's found in your natural face or hair color. Like for me, I have brown eyes and brown freckles and dark brown hair. So a lot of times like a bronzy palette will look just very natural on me. But if I want to wear complementary colors, then I look at my outfit. I also look at the color wheel. This is gonna sound complex, but it's actually very simple. So you look at the color wheel, you choose the predominant color of your outfit, and you choose the opposite shade for your makeup. So for example, if I was wearing a blue outfit and I wanted to select complementary colors, I would probably wear a bronzy palette. But if I'm wearing a pink outfit, then a complementary like eyeshadow color would be teal. So this sounds more complex than it actually is because the verbiage is complex, but once you start experimenting with this and realizing how makeup can synchronize your entire look, then you'll realize that it's much more impactful and it's not that hard to learn. That's the final tip I have for you and I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more personal style videos every week. If you haven't watched my previous video on the 2023 fashion trends that are actually wearable, then I recommend that you watch that one next. I'll see you next week with a brand new video, but until then, take care.